basically uh just showing like I'm still renting the rooms out. But I got some dirt. I got like I got this these young this young couple. This little nigga, oh man. Little nigga a headache. His girl, you could talk to her, but this little nigga. My God. It's like y'all young niggas talk shit about older niggas, but it's like, bruh, the the <laughs> bruh, the, the, the mind, the mind of a nigga in his twenties, bro, that shit is fucked up. But they just, they just dirty. Like, like, like y'all gonna see throughout this video. They just dirty. Don't nobody want to clean up. Out of all three adults, nobody wants to clean up. Everybody got excuses. And, and the main thing is like the bathroom, right? We don't be there. We don't do this. We don't do that. And it's like, nigga, so you don't piss? You don't shit? You don't wash your ass? You don't brush your teeth? Like, stop saying what you don't do. It's so simple. Bruh, it done rained in Maryland. It been raining. It, it rained hella times within the past 30 days in Maryland. It rained hella times. And as y'all, if, if it's any day one slowdown squad members that's watching this, y'all know. When it rained, that hill... It get muddy. So you go from outside and come inside. You track mud everywhere. This, this, this little nigga is swearing up and down. That ain't mine. We don't do this. We don't do that. That's Junior. Nigga, Junior been here the longest. I've never seen Junior drink no soda. To where I've never seen Junior wipe his ass with paper towels that come from like McDonald's, Burger King, Chick-fil-A. I've never seen Junior do this. Junior don't even eat American food. He only eat African food. So, like, the fact that you keep blaming everything on Junior. But if it's <clears throat> if it's raining, you'll walk inside the house. And you will track whatever from outside, inside. So you feel like, oh, I shouldn't clean up? No, it was dirty in when we came in here. No, nigga, it wasn't. Because the last guest that was there in the basement, they used that bathroom every day. That was their main bathroom. And it stayed clean. Like, what you... It's, man... And yeah, then, they had a little kid. And they had a little kid. And it's like, bro, it's so, it's so irritating to just continuously hear somebody that has an excuse for everything. Then just to turn around and say, oh, yeah, I think we did do that. Mm -hmm. Now, when y'all look in this video, y'all going to see, as far as the bathrooms, everything in the bathroom, in the trash can, this video was made Friday, the Friday that just passed. Today is Sunday. I made this video on Friday. The pink or purple pad wrapper. It's not a tampon because the tampon is what go up inside you, inside a female. So it's a pad. So it's a wrapper for a period pad. That drink has, ain't no telling how long it's been on the floor. But from Friday to today. It's nighttime. Nine o'clock. What time is it right now? 9.40. 9.40 at night. The pad and trash is still there. We had a conversation with these, with these motherfuckers. All of them. I talked to everybody. Right? Nobody cleaned nothing. Nobody. It's still there. I cleaned the I cleaned the toilet. And the only reason I cleaned the toilet is because baby Maya needed to use the bathroom. And she didn't want to sit on that toilet. And I'm just thinking, how are you a female? And it's piss on the toilet. So you just realize only time. So instead of you cleaning the toilet, you just squatting. You just squatting the whole, like, every fucking time you got to pee, you just squatting? Mm -hmm. Instead of just motherfucking going, then it's like, oh, money been funny and shit like that. Nigga, you smoke. You smoke, nigga. Money ain't never funny to get motherfucking high. Money ain't never funny on buying no backwoods. But money funny to go motherfucking buy some toilet paper? To go buy some cleaning supply? You better go to the dollar store. Come on, bro. We, we stayed over there. We stayed over there. Friday night, we stayed at the other house and we stayed there because we knew nothing was going to get done. So we stayed there. 
We went to the dollar store. Bought some all-purpose cleaner. That shit was like a dollar forty-seven, maybe two dollars. It might have been two dollars. Nah, that shit was like a dollar forty-seven. All-purpose cleaner, and we got a four-pack. We literally got a four-pack of Tissue. toilet paper, mm -hmm. and that was just because from because which we, was a dollar also. It was a dollar. Four pack for a dollar. Now you telling me that you can't you can get high. But you can't go buy some cleaning supplies, some toilet paper, to where the only th you only thing you doing is wiping your ass with paper towels that you get. It's not even paper towels. From it's napkins. Well, it's, well, napkins, whatever. Dang. Napkins that you that, the napkins they put in the bag. Mm -hmm. McDonald's. The, the napkins. napkins that they put in the bag, <laughs> bro. Like that's what you wipe your ass with, bro. This is crazy. This is crazy. So we got somebody. We I, I listen. I have no intentions on the youngins. I I have no intentions on these youngins standing there drink. We got somebody tomorrow that's about to come check it out. I'm already knowing. I'm already processing. You don't pay your shit on time. You not pay. You nigga don't pay on time. Then motherfucker. Everything is an excuse. Nigga had a nerve to tell me what he told me. He like, bro, I got kids, bro. I got kids. I got kids. I got. I do got responsibility. What the what that got to do with you paying your rent, bro? What, what are you talking about? Like what what does that have to do with paying your rent, bro? Mm -hmm. Just cause you got kids, like, huh? So, man, so it's been a hectic. This is this little journey. I realize renting a room and renting out the whole house. Yes, renting a room generates more money but people that rent rooms and part of me if you're a motherfucker that rent a room but from my experience and everybody that i have dealt with people that rent rooms tend to be broker than the average person i've dealt with multiple people who cannot pay their bills we even broke we even break it down into payments for, for motherfuckers and they still can't pay so where it's like all right, bro, you got to go. You know what I'm saying? All right, bro, you got to go. And the fact that you can't pay or clean? Can't pay. Now, this situation is you can't make your payments and you not cleaning. And you Mind you, making. they always say they not in the house. They not in the house. And if y'all out making money, where's the money fucking going? But then it's like, though, but then, but then it be like this. Niggas can real live. We can real live check everything, right? We can see everything. See, that's something that we can see everything. You know what I'm saying? We know we know when people there, when people not there. Yeah, we know when people there and when people not there, bro. Like, we know. So it, it's like the fact that it's just an excuse. And then to come out, it's, oh, I may have threw a couple things in there. The whole joint is filled with fucking, come on, bro. It's full. Well, you can't even throw nothing else in there. So they just throw it on so the floor. So you just throw it on the floor. Because you know that little, that little, that little pad wrapper, it's going to go like this. You can't just throw it like if you crumble up a paper. Mm -hmm. You throw that, that motherfucker, it's going to... It's going to fly. Yeah, it's gonna, it, it might end up over here. Mm -hmm. It can end up over there. It might end up over there. Like, it ain't just going to straight just drop. It's going to make its little waves. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shit is wild, man. But, yeah, man, that's what been going on, man. Been dealing with just tenants, man. They've been dealing with tenants and... The shit is irritating. I don't like it. Um, what I've realized is you can't be nice. You gotta be greedy. You gotta be selfish. You can't be nice because I've been. I keep being nice and I keep getting the short end of the stick being nice because I be trying to help people. But I gotta. I gotta realize I ain't been in a stage in life where I actually needed that type of help since I was in my early twenties. So I got to get that out of my head. Like, yeah, I done been there before, but it was like, nah, nigga. 
Hell no. I got to stop thinking like that. I've been on top. I've been on top longer than I've been under. And even when I'm under, I'm still on top more than the average person. You know what I'm saying? I could be I could be broke, but I still got two cribs. I was like, I gotta sometimes I gotta think about certain things to myself. I could be all the way down bad, all the way fucked up, but bruh, you still got two cribs, bruh. I still got two cribs. So I gotta stop, I gotta stop looking at situations like I gotta keep playing Captain Save a Hope. You hear me? I gotta stop doing that. Cause that's basically what I'm doing, playing Captain Save a Hope. Cause I feel sorry for motherfucking and shit. Cause you know a motherfucker will give you their life story, and then they be like, man, all right, bro, I got you, man. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, man. All right, man, look here, man. We going I'm gonna do this for you, bro. Go ahead, do this, and then do that, and then what's what winds up happening? The fucking knuckle game. Just like the last situation, knuckle game. And I don't be wanna. I don't wanna go through that. So I gotta just from here on out. Even like the person that's coming tomorrow, everything she gotta give. She, we just doing this shit correct. We doing it the right way. So, um, for, for any of y'all who been trying to figure out where where I've been, what I've been doing, that's what I've been doing. And if if y'all don't follow me on IG, then y'all know what's up with that. You know what I'm saying? But I am a hey, bro sober, being a sober nigga. Boy, I'm a whole different motherfucking animal. I'm trying to tell you. So, let's start this video. Nah, my bad. Video already started. So, to the next scene. Slow down, squad. So, Ching Ching want to see Bigfoot holding a brain. My already seen it. But Ching Ching want to see it. So, I'm going to take Ching Ching over here to see Bigfoot. So, to the next scene. You're not a model. All right, slow down, squad. Let me see. Because you got this damn truck in front of it. Oh, this is one of them charger spots. Look. You see that, Jake? Why do the room look so real? I can't see. Let me take my seatbelt off. Oh. Whoa. Look at all those skeletons. Why is this so big? Like, it's like a, like a, like a castle. Like a castle? Yeah, it's like a castle so big. You see, you holding the brain. Yeah. That's a, that's what that's your that's a skull. Talk about that. Yeah. That's a brain. All right, sit back. Put your seatbelt on. All right, slow down, squad. So Ching Ching asked me a question, right? She said to me, she said, "What does motto mean? What does you know the motto mean?" So I had to explain to her. I used to always say to the next scene. You know the motto. No, I used to always say to the next scene, slow down squad. So every time it was a different, you know what I'm saying? A different scene, I would say slow down squad. And you know me, I had so many people copying me and trying to be me and using the words I use. So I had to, I had to always be creative, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right. So since everybody wanna say what I say, like even when I first started, like, comment, subscribe, you heard me? And you heard motherfuckers saying that she used to be wicked. So basically I just came up with, instead of saying slow down squad, I just started saying to the next scene, you know the motto. That's that's kind of how, how it happened, you heard me? So yeah, that's what, and I start doing it like that. And when I feel like I'm saying that too much, then I go right back to slow down squad. But to the next thing. You know the motto. Shit that's real live crazy. It's like a nigga real live. Normal people clean up every day. Like, I gotta get this. Rice cooker. I gotta clean up that. Slow cooker. You know what I'm saying? Normal people. Normal people. I'm in here right now, clean. Every day, nigga can look at the toilet. Oh, ain't no piss around the toilet. There's no pee on the toilet. Any any normal human being gonna know you got clean in there. Then, oh, ain't no piss right there. Ain't no piss right there. Did you look under? 
Did you look up under there? That's what that soft scrub, the soft scrub. You know what I'm saying? You know that the soft scrub when you put it around up there? Then you take this baby and you you put that baby all the way up there? Hey, bro. This gets dirty every day. It's a sink. It's a zinc. It gets it get dirty every day. Water spots. Nigga, you have to clean this. This is damn near every single day that you got to wipe your sink down. Toothpaste, whatever, falls in the sink. Then if you're an OC toothbrush it like myself, you got to do that. This is just normal. The tub get dirty. It's normal to clean up. It's normal. So, I'm cleaning up in here. Then I got to go to the other house. And clean up over there. But I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm finna do. I'm finna put a lock on the bed, on the bathroom upstairs, and the bathroom downstairs. Since since these, listen, since these these people don't want clean, then y'all, I don't use the bathroom. You don't? Okay, I don't be in there. I'll be gone. We don't be here. All right, bet. You need to use the bathroom. You gotta pay for it. Watch how I go. Watch how I go. Get some straightening out of these mugs, you heard me. But, uh, yeah, to the next thing. You know the motto. Bro, they be having both these windows open. And I be like, can y'all stop leaving the windows open? It's no screen. It's no screen on the window. Can y'all stop leaving them open? These niggas don't give a fuck. They do what they want to do. A week later. No, literally, a week later. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. A week later. That shit. That shit. Can't even wipe this. Yo. I don't know if y'all. I don't know if y'all can see this shit. What's all this black shit? See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Shit is wild, man. And this is something. Ain't gotta do nothing but sweep this. All you gotta do is sweep that. Sweep this. Everybody gotta walk on the door. You gotta walk in the door. You gotta walk into the door. Shit is bad. This shit is just fucking sick, man. Sweep. I just swept this. I'm gonna pull it out. Go home and sweep it. Look behind there. You look behind there. You know what I'm saying? It's sad that I gotta come do this before I show somebody. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting everybody out. Everybody gotta go fuck. Like, fuck this shit. Like what what like you clean behind the shoulder? What what nigga what nigga that gotta what male don't know that you gotta get behind him? Like what male don't know that, bro? Come on, bro. Come up the steps. As soon as you come up the steps, it's this right here. I say, even if you didn't do it, it's just blatant shit that be right in front of you. Y'all don't even pick up. No, I don't be seeing nothing. Well, here y'all go right here. Something blatantly right in front of you. Just pick it up. Simple. <laughs> Simple. All this shit. All this. All this. <laughs> shit crucial, man. Hey, to the next scene. You know the motto.